Hey everyone, Ritik here from Clientix CRM Consulting and welcome back to the another video. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about employees onboarding flow and how to use it in Zoho People. So let's get started. So right now I'm in Zoho People and uh, right now I'm in the onboarding flows. So this is the on employee onboarding flow, which I have customized. So let me just give you an overview of how it looks like. So first of all, what will happen? We will receive a welcome onboard message so in which we will also uh, recommend a video in which uh, you, you can uh, simply add a video link and after that a description of welcome about we wish you successful journey in our organization so simple like that and apart from that uh, a welcome feed will also be displayed in which you can just simply automatically write a message for your uh, new onboarded employee so this is the first step and after that, the second part will be to uh, fill out the profile and other forms. So after that, we will ask our employees to fill some necessary information. So this is the form I have attached. So this is the second step. And after that, the third step will be for uh, adding some documents and policies. So in this, you can uh, add some documents. So these are the documents, like the mail merge templates you can add in order to sign some any kind of you know documents from your uh, from your new onboarded employee so it could be anything so you can do it with the help of a mail merge template so in my next video upcoming video i will show you how to create mail merge templates in zoho people so yeah this is how you can do it. so i have attached it to an authorization form and uh, for now it is uh, the sign type is accept slash decline but you can also we can also add Zoho sign into it in order to capture digital signature. So that is also possible. And so this is for the signing purpose. And apart from that, these will be the documents to be read. So we know we are not gonna you know add any kind of signing into it. It's just for uh, info purpose. So I have added about us document into it. So these are the documents which will only see for reading purpose. So after that, the next step will be to you know some uh, kind of uh, team if you wanted to say hello to your team get to know your teammates better so this is also a description and after that the objectives so you can add some objectives uh, goals and objectives for your uh, new, new onboarded employee which he needs to do and after that some basic company information which uh, you will share with your new newly onboarded employee so first of all a description will appear welcome to the zoho people family and get updated so you can also change this description according to your needs and here into the uh, website url so i have added my company's url so that so that the newly onboarded employee can know about our company about what we do and etc and at last apart from that we can also add some training courses like if your company had some you know videos uh, training training videos so you can also attach it here so i haven't done it yet as I didn't have any training material, but uh, like if you have something training material which you, you like your newly onboarded employees to train, so you can simply add it goes through here. And at last, a checklist. So uh, this is a kind of checklist, uh, a kind of task which you can you know add it here so that uh, because your newly onboarded employee can just go through it and complete this checklist. So this is a kind of checklist which I have created to simply come up. Uh, simply complete intro video this is it so i have just added a link of my video which you need to do and it is also a due date of five days after the rule trigger time so this one i have set up so yeah, these are all the, these all are the you know things you can set up in your employee onboarding flow so like i have just did it for testing purpose just to show you guys and, uh, but uh, each company is different and uh, you can you know, uh, set it up according to your company's requirements. Okay, so once you have uh, created this flow, how you will be able to assign this flow to the uh, your employee is you just simply have to go to the organization. And so for example, this is your employee. So what you need to do is simply click here and click on this trigger onboarding. So this onboarded flow will be triggered for this employee so just let me show you how this onboarding flow will look like so this is the flow which i've created so how it will look to the newly onboarded employee so we just have to show you so once the employee will you know go into the link 
and and its uh, credentials of Zoho people, which I will provide to him. So this is how the front first page looks like. So here are the you know video kind of intro video which you can add. So I've added this video so the uh, employee can just simply click here and see the video. So first is this thing, and here is the message called Welcome Abroad. So the employee's name is the picture there. And so yeah, the first message will be. So this is the message sent by maybe a manager or anyone else. So because I'm the only employee, so I have set it up like this. Hey team, so let's welcome Kevin into our team. So you can just change it, or you can also add custom tags here, custom fields here, so that automatically it will take the name of the employee, and automatically our name will be appear. Employee's name will be appear here. So I have just written Kevin's name into here. But yeah, the first thing will be to it is will be a welcome abroad message, and here you can also send your message. Okay. Thank you, everyone. So some things like that. Yeah. And after that, the second will be the profile and other forms. So some of the basic information will be uh, filled by you and your team. But uh, if you want, you know, some other information to be filled by your employee, so you can. So here from here, you can simply fill out his. Uh, other information, for example, his middle name, his department, anything which you want him to want him to fill those information. So you can simply from here you can simply fill those information. And apart from there, the next step will be the documents and policies. So the first thing will be about us. So this so this is the about us document which uh, I have shown you earlier. So this is just for trading purposes. So you can just simply go through this document. And the second one is the authorization form. So it will ask for a signature. This document cannot be previewed as a, this has been triggered to that particular uh, person yet. As I'm just showing you the preview. So, but uh, yeah, it will once you will you know uh, trigger this pro, uh, flow to the employee, he will receive this similar kind of uh, document from here, and he just need to sign it. And here comes the company's information. So here I have added our web company's website. So you can just simply scroll it through here and see all the information. So you can add some other link as well, whatever you like. But yeah, at the end, you are all set. So welcome bot, everything. So this is how the flow will look like to the uh, employee. So yeah, that's about the brief overview of uh, onboarding flow. Apart from that, please do not hesitate to book a free consultation call with our team. You will find the link into the description. And also, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this video. And that's it for today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone. Take care.